Hey guys, what's up? It's LeBurn98 here, and I'm bringing you some Resistance 3 online multiplayer. Uh, this game I actually just picked up a few days ago. Uh, could have been, I think, Friday. Thursday or Friday, I can't remember. It was throughout the, the week, anyway. Uh, Best Buy had a sale on, uh, at least here in Canada, uh, for the summer sale or some crap like that. Uh, basically, I got this game for $19.99. Uh... I also got, because they had a few other games uh, on sale, uh, I also got a game that I already have on two other platforms, Xbox 360 and PC, which was Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition or collection or whatever the, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, basically, it comes with Grand Theft Auto 4 and Liberty City Stories and all that stuff. Uh, so, uh, that's cool. I, I like Grand Theft Auto 4 and uh, I like to try it on the PlayStation and add that to the to my PS3 collection, which is uh, <laughs> really growing in the last month or so. I mean, it's just I think I've been going a little crazy on the, the PlayStation purchases, but, uh, you know, that's what I like doing, right? I mean, I like gaming very much so, and, uh, you know, uh, there's nothing really wrong with that. So, anyway, back on to Resistance 3. Uh, again, you know, you're watching the, the uh, online here, the multiplayer. And uh, I will get into that a little bit later. Uh, but first I'm going to talk about the campaign. Now I won't do any spoilers for people who haven't played this game. Since it is somewhat new. I mean, uh, I can't remember. Was it? I think it was released in 2011. So last year. Uh, but I will, uh, as a spoiler warning, uh, spoil somewhat of Resistance 2. And uh, uh, so just keep that as a warning. Uh, anyway, uh, as... The Resistance uh, series is concerned. Uh, uh, I, I very much liked Resistance One. Now I did play a lot later. I mean, I didn't play it at launch. I just got my PlayStation a few years ago, so uh, I didn't get to experience it when it first came out. So there was a few things that annoyed me, but it wasn't due to necessarily to the game, but just that things have evolved uh, since then. Mainly, the only real main issue I have with the game, the first Resistance Fall of Man, is the fact that I'm so used. To how first-person shooters now have like the aiming down the sights kind of thing, you know, and uh, that doesn't really have it. It does like the old-style zoom in, you know, and uh, it it doesn't. I find it kind of annoying, but it by no means ruins the experience at all. Uh, but besides that, it actually holds up quite well for for a launch title. Uh, as far as the story is concerned, it, it's decent enough. I, I liked it. I liked the, uh, uh, you know. It felt like I, I was going through the, the missions and I, I cared, you know, somewhat for the main characters. Uh, Resistance 2, which, you know, a lot of people say it's the worst in, in the series and it took a, uh, you know, it, it took a step back. And maybe that is true. Uh, in, 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 my, in my, you know, in my opinion, I like Resistance Fall Man more uh, than Resistance 2. Because I felt like Resistance 2, it tried to do a lot, but at the same time, it also kept... It, tr it tried to be too much like Call of Duty in the sense that, you know, like, there's regenerating health and whatever. But to be fair, that's not really the, the, the issue I had re with Resistance 2. Uh, like, I actually don't mind Resistance 2, to be honest with you, overall. Yes, it's, it's not as good as Resistance 1, but it's still a, a solid game. Uh, but a lot of people seem to ha get stuck on the fact that it has re regenerating health. And to be honest, based on the story arc in the game, and, you know, again, I'm going to... You know, spoil a little bit here with Resistance too, but you know Nathan Hale gets infected with the Chimera virus. You know, and uh, throughout the game it gets worse and worse. You know, he gets infected more and more, uh, and because of that, in, in my opinion, and I don't, I, I doubt, I doubt it. They thought of this when they made the game, but uh, I think they were just going more for the, you know, the fact that a lot of games now are using regenerating health or whatever. But in my opinion. You know, the fact that, you know, he is getting infected with this uh, Chimera virus and he's becoming more like the, the Chimera. Uh, it, it, it adds some validity, uh, validity, can't say that word, validity to the fact that he had regenerating health because, you know, Chimera are more stronger and, uh, you know, they, they can, like, you know, like, compared to a human, you know, they can, uh, you know, uh, regenerate their health a little better. They're quicker healers and so on. So... I didn't mind that so much. And, uh, you know, 
so overall, I didn't really mind Resistance 2 so much. I, you know, they tried to go bigger and badder and so on. And uh, it lost some of the charm of Resistance, but it was by no means a bad game. So uh, on to Resistance 3, and why didn't I pick it up on release day? Uh, to be honest w with you, while I do like the Resistance games, I do not consider them my day one purchases. They're, they're good games for, like, you know, you know, go through it once or twice, but I'm, I'm not... So they're not the type of games that I really feel like I have to go through multiple times. And while the online was always good, I never really... I mean, there's just it's just too similar, and it's hard <laughs> hard to really say that because it, you know, like if you look at the weapons, like there's a lot of unique weapons and 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 stuff like that. But even still, with all the unique weapons, it's just too similar to all the other games. Like I rather play, you know, w you know, with talking with current games, I rather play Battlefield Three and and Modern Warfare Three uh, than this game. Now, or you know, previously. Now I will say like. Uh, Resistance 3 is uh, so far it's been a lot of fun and n now of course another main issue is that you know it's not as popular as the other games I mentioned and even maybe even uh, you know Killzone 2 and 3 or whatever uh, so it's hard as the games get older it's hard to really find uh, matches where if you look at something like uh, you know Black Ops I went on there not, uh, a few nights ago or last week and there's still plenty of people on there so uh, so, as a whole, I mean, I, I like the online in this one. I like it more than the other ones. I think a big big reason that is because it is a smaller player count. It's only uh, eight eight v eight, you know, sixteen players total compared to I think Resistance Two had sixty, and Resistance One had around the same, maybe fifty. I can't remember. Uh, so I I actually prefer the uh, smaller maps, uh, the you know smaller player count. Uh, of Resistance 3. Now I'm sure people will disagree with me and they're more entitled uh, to do so. Uh, but that's it for like online. I do like online. I'll probably put a few more videos up. I'm definitely going to be playing some more and I'll see if I continue playing it. Th that'll be the ultimate judgment of if the game's good or not is if I keep playing it. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think about the online. Now single player and I won't give spoilers for this one since it is uh, a fairly new game. came out in 2011 I do believe. Uh, what do I think of the single player? Does it tie up pretty well the story? Uh, as Insomniac has said, this is their last Resistance game. Uh, they done it in a way where, you know, without getting too many spoilers, I mean, I guess they could continue it. So, uh, they didn't completely cut off the, f the potential of, of another sequel by, you know, a different developer. But as far as Insomniac Games is concerned, this is the last Resistance and based on that, what do I think of the ending? Uh, I like it. I mean, again, you know, it keeps it somewhat open to the possibility of a sequel, but at the same time, it does add a nice ending to to the game, uh, you know, to the fran to the series or franchise or whatever. Uh, so I do I do like it. Uh, as far as the actual trek, you know, through the, the campaign, I never once got bored, which is always a good thing in games. Uh, now, with that being said, well, I play it again. Uh, who knows? Maybe I, I might, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. I don't know 100% if I will. But I will say I never got bored in the game, and I actually enjoyed my time with the game. So uh, I think, um, as far as like the uh, the 20 bucks I paid for it, I mean it's it's an outright steal. Would I have paid 59.99 for it? If I keep playing the multiplayer, yes, I think it, it would still be worth the 60 dollars. I think it is an underrated gem. And it's too bad, you know. Uh, but you know, to be fair, I'm part of the reason of that. I mean, I don't buy. I didn't buy this game on on, you know, launch day, and uh, I, a lot of people did, and, and I'm sure a lot of people will try this game or have bought it because I know a lot of people must have bought it because I went one day to Best Buy probably like a, a couple days before the sale happened, and I was actually almost gonna buy the game, and I saw plenty of copies there, and then. When it went on sale, I, I I went to go pick it up, and there was only two copies. That's including the one I picked up. So, people have bought it, but will they keep playing? Especially the online, but that, that we'll have to wait and see. But overall, as far as Resistance Three is concerned, it, it is a I would say it is worth the, the the full retail price as long as the online community continues to grow. 
uh, and that's, you know, unfortunately you have to wait and see, you know, with something like that. You don't really know what's going to happen until, you know, it actually happens. Like, you can look at, like, Operation Raccoon City, and while it's a decent game, it's not a great game, a lot of people bought that game, and right now there's a lot of people playing it online, but at the same time there could be a lot of people re returning those games and, you know, uh, trading them in. So all of a sudden... You know that player base of whatever millions or a couple million people, all of a sudden, you know, dwindles down to hardly nothing. Uh, but overall, as far as the whole series of games are concerned, and including you know obviously Resistance Three, I think it's a nice story arc. I think it worked out pretty well. Uh, it's a nice franchise by Insomniac Games, and I, I, I'm interested to see them work on their next next game, which is actually going to be a multiplat. Uh, so anyway, until next time, this is LeBurn98 signing out. And uh, basically right now, I think it shows you my stats. So anyways, take care, guys. See you. Bye.